And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some casino. This is always a really fun deck to play. If you haven't seen this one before, it can draw a lot of cards and do some crazy stuff. It's going to be a Jinx and Twisted Fate deck. Those are going to be our champions and the top end of our deck. And we're going to be playing Bilgewater and PNZ. And basically our goal is to rifle through the deck. We're going to have things that draw. We're going to have like our Pool Shark draw an extra card. Of course, Rummage with stress testing because our deck's about discarding as well. You know, with Urchin. We have our payoffs for discarding like Flame Chompers and Jury Rig. Uh, let's see. We got Burn Spells, Mystic Shot, Get Excited. Because if we're going through a lot of our deck, maybe if we find all three Get Excited's, all three Mystic Shots, those together add up to 15 damage that we could do to the Nexus, for example. Because, of course, we, we also want to play all of our cards to empty our hand for Jinx. They can also then draw more cards. So we kind of have the that combination together. Brash Gambler is an all-star in here. We discard two cards to play it, but every time we attack, we draw two Fleeting, which can really help level up Twist, Twist of Fate as well. And then since we're um, drawing a lot of cards, we're going to have Slot Bots in here that, that uh, can get a whole lot of stats and grow really big. All right, so it's Casino. It's a fun deck to play. Let's get to it. We're going to go play five games in Ranked. Okay, so we got uh, Jarvan Shen. Let's see, let me copy this down. We got an Academic, a Flame Chompers, a Jury Rig, and a Suit Up. I do, I really like Suit Up plus Flame Chompers. I think that's a great combination. So I'm gonna actually just kind of keep those. Ugh. I really thought about mulliganing the Astute Academic. Okay, there we go, Poro Cannon. Poro Cannon's good because that gives me a discard outlet, right? Because we want, we really want to discard Flame Chompers. We don't want to actually cast it. Okay, I'll just take the trade. Trade the one drops. That means no like bright seal protector or anything like that. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Hmm. River shape the land and give it life. River shape the land. All right, so we'll have Sharp Sight test. Hopefully no Sharp Sight. Single combat. Okay. That means we get to keep a 4-4 challenger. So not bad. So if they play the 4-5. I've got your back. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. It's probably supposed to be blue card. Dang, that's too bad. All right, so we okay. We only lose a slot bot, right? We only have, okay. Never mind. I was thinking that I was gonna have two. Looks like trouble. Wait, I don't even have to challenge that thing. I was thinking I was gonna have two of the fleeting cards, so just one. All right, just one slot bot gone. Honor guide me. It's kind of a little awkward though. How? little amount of cards I can actually play. No quarter. Win big or die trying. Try on the high stakes table, huh? Just you and me, fish bones. How will my people remember me 
as a just king. They get scout and father. Scout and challenger, but they don't have an attack. Fine, you're at five, so that'll be seven. It's risky attacking with this thing again against Sharp Sight. Not great. I could have kept it in like if we didn't have Jinx, I would have kept those both in in my hand, and then at the end of the turn, I would have just discarded them both, which would have put the Flame Chompers in play, and then would have drawn one Fleeting, and that would have been good for leveling up the Twisted Fate. Okay, but since I have the Jinx, and if I just play them both, I get the Super Mega Death Rocket. That's what I wanted to do. We still have the Jinx. We still draw two at the beginning of turns. So we still level up the Twisted Fate. So I didn't like have to hold on to that to level up this fate. So we have both our champions leveled up, working together. We just need the room anyway. Where do you stand on cold shots? Who does not know the name Laurent? All right, so they're down to three. We'll be able to empty our hands, um, even with drawing four cards at the end of the next turn. So I'm, I'm not really worried about. Like, there's not really any four cards that we could draw that we wouldn't be able to empty our hand. Alright, so we'll just go with the Get Excited. Which was denied. Okay. Go to get excited again. And there we go. We blew them all up. Ooh, Zoe Lee Sin. So we'll see if we get our one of Poro Cannon for Zoe Blocker. Okay, I mean this is again a good a good combo, but how am I setting that up? It's gonna take a little bit. Think about keeping these two. Um, no, we'll get rid of the gambler also. We'll just get rid of. It. We'll probably find another card like that. Don't need to keep the top end cards. Welcome. Welcome. I like Pool Shark a lot. I guess it's the this other slot bot. I'm not sure which one to discard, the other slot bot or the Pool Shark. Because I want it I want to go like Flame Chomper suit up this turn with suit up costing two mana. Maybe I'm overrating that. Yeah, maybe I'm overrating that. 
that that save two mana. Oh yeah. I can just go another slot bot and pool shark now, and then rummage, and then get bonuses on both slot bots. Most likely Nopify. Yeah, very first card. A game. Go on then. Yeah, Zoe Leeson. What did we get? Well, that's what's up. discard the stress testing at the end of turn. There's no real reason to do anything else with the stress stress testing. I would like to get excited this sparkle fly of course. <clears throat> spin, spin, spin. You win. You win. But like if I get excited discard that um Stress testing, then we would get the one fleeting card that would that would, would just get burned. And there we go. So you wait for them to do something like that. And we'll see how much protection they have. Yeah, I it, that would have worked out better for me if I would have get excited first. But we still would have had to use all three things if you know between Pale Cascade and Bastion, we couldn't have used just two cards to kill it. Still, I could see playing Twisted Fate first. Twisted Fate Gold card. Then they play something else, then I challenge that other thing. I don't know what the downside of doing that is. For I guess, yeah, Concussive Palm. Yeah, I guess Concussive Palm would be a downside. play Jinx here. Because I could see them going Lee Sin next turn, and I want to, like, gold card Lee Sin. Yeah, this, the whole seven mana thing was pretty awkward. I guess we gotta go blue card for this to get rid of the get excited. Yeah, it's a tough call trying to kill Zoe or killing the Nexus. Or shooting the Nexus. I'm just gonna shoot the Nexus. Everyone 
You know, they can get like another Equinox here for the slot pot. Equinox is such a fun card. So this not only does the 4 damage to them, it does kill one of their blockers. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? Come on, let's give it a try. You cannot win. Alright, cool. That'll do. We're 2 0 with Casino. Lissandra Trundle. We're going to be playing Lissandra Trundle later on with our Turbo Watcher deck. That'll be pretty fun. For now, we're going to simply. I guess they do a good job killing Twisted Fate, so maybe keeping Twisted Fate. I always like having like one like payoff for discarding in, in the opening hand. Just keep that. Not a very good mulligan. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine this is a bad matchup because our, our deck's built on like going wide with a bunch of small things, and their deck is built on killing decks that go wide. So I I uh, don't really imagine that, that that lines up well for me. This is a real spin to win. Ages pass, yet I remain. A winner is you! I am inevitable. I'm feeling that's a spicy I don't really need that pool shark. I don't really want to do like the, the fleeting thing right now with how little mana I have, and I have that rummage to discard it and everything too. Quality Avalanche there, killing uh, the Slop Bot, which would have been one of my best uh, cards to have access to. But Gambler's doing its thing. Found a Jinx for me. Twisted Fate. Deal me in. So blue card it. Yeah, I guess I could have done the suit up first, then I would still have one mana left. I guess that would make sense. I kind of want to suit up the Twisted Fate to keep it from dying to a sweeper, but maybe I need to just suit up the flame chompers to challenge the Lissandra. Doing? 
And it does, you know, use that extra mana. So I, I could have I could have one spell mana right now if I would have done the suit up first. Alright, so I could probably gold card this trundle, right? If I wanted to. Let's do this. Well, let's see, could, could we red I guess could we red card it? So, so we're at four. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. It'll just be easier just to do this. figure it out. Yeah, so the trundle down before the trundle levels up, because right, they, they got the eight mana. So it is Ice Pillar turn. So that, of course, means there's going to be a Watcher the next turn. Because they, they have another Spectral Matron in hand, so they're going to Matron, Watcher, and then Watcher next turn. So I don't think we can possibly win this, but let's see. Because I mean, I can't. Because I can stun one watcher, but they're gonna have two watchers attack this next turn. So we have to. We have to find like a jinx to put back on top to not mill out. Also, have to not have this nexus be tough. So I need to get rid of these cards in my hand. Soak it in. I need to level up jinx. Get rid of these cards in my hand. Yeah, so like they, they play the second watcher now. Can't do much about that one. I have never seen that animation before. Everyone 
It's just not possible. Is it? A foray into the field? I don't think it's possible. I guess. Because then I, I attack and... I brought my books. Hope that's all right. That kills us. They have to forget to block. They have to click the OK button and take the damage. That's our possibility of winning this. Looks like they remember to block. That's too bad. So I couldn't attack with the Brash Gambler, right? Because if we attack with that, we draw two fleeting. We can't. We don't have two to draw. Draven Ezreal. All right, this will be a little bit better matchup, but they still got a lot of good removal. Um, but they don't have like all the sweeping removal that the previous deck did. I want to keep a lot of this. I don't. I don't do anything for a while. But it is our more powerful top end cards. So I'm doing this right now so I can attack before Ballistic Bot comes into play to block him. Humanity is obsolete. Don't worry, I've read all about this. Prime and ready. The party has arrived. Coming right up. Can you perfection? Now we're cooking. We're gonna block. I'm doing great, Moonlight. I'm doing very good today. How are you doing? Feeling good. We're starting off good. We're two and one right now. We'll see how that continues on for us. Cool, that's a good one to have. Everyone I wanted to, you know, usually would put, usually would play Pool Shark first, but with discarding the stress testing, I want to see what that fleeting card was before playing the Pool Shark. But usually, I would just, you know, cast the Pool Shark right here. We play in build rules, son. What did we get? Hmm. Never lost a fair game. Played one. Oh, you're moving in a couple of days? Hmm. I think I'm gonna just let that happen. All right. So this is my second twisted fate. Yeah, I think I just let that happen. Because I want I want to suit up the flame chompers and be able to use that as removal. That's what I would like. Where do you stand on cold shots? I was kind of hoping they would play a, a champion first, but.
Definitely want to kill that thing. Yeah, this deck is this deck is pretty fun, and it's it's not real easy to play either. There's some tough decisions to make. Alright. So probably should attack with a one-two. I guess I I guess I could just attack with one singular one-two. I was thinking that I'd have to attack with both one-twos, and I didn't really want to attack with both. But I guess I could have just attacked with one singular one and then you know, had one of these four threes be like a oh, yeah. uh, you know a four two instead. <laughs> if I cast a slot bot, I can't empty my hand. Three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I'm not really emptying my hand this turn anyway. Should open up a pretty good open attack for me. Uh, gross. Not as good of an open attack. I was a good house spider, but then, then you know, like we got all the health here anyway, because you know I was gonna be able to challenge and then attack with both of those being unblocked, but that didn't work. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Yeah, this hasn't hasn't worked out for me. De decisions I've made this game have not worked out for me. That's a good card. No, I mean, I'm... Okay, so... I'm worried about Noxion Guillotine and Scorched Earth, like those kind of cards for attacking with the Slot Bot, but I guess it's like, what else does the Slot Bot do, I guess? But it's it's like just attacking it to these... These things just aren't really that valuable anyway. If I leveled up Jinx, when you play leveled up Jinx, you create the super mega death rocket right away, right? I think that's how this works. I think we'll just create the super mega death rocket, I think. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm gonna pass here so they can't use Thermogenic Beam and kill Jinx afterwards, so I get to do my draw two. Even though we're not doing four damage to them. Hands good enough that they don't even want rummage, but there are. So like they're not really playing very much stuff, but yet they don't want rummage. Which that does sound like a terrible combination for me.
So yeah, they, they did have that tri-beam. Could have killed Jinx before. Alright, so the Sojourners... Sojourners buffing up Ezreal is rough, and that's not even the first time that that's happened to me. <laughs> I've definitely seen that before. a good game though. We two and two, but it was a good game. Alright, GG's. Thresh Nessus. I don't know how we're going to stomp Atrocity Nessus. Probably aren't going to stop that. We need a way to get, like, slot bot like elusive or something, be able to get slot bot uh, damage through. We've made some big slot bots, but they haven't mattered too much. This Reaper gets really, really big, speaking of a card that gets big but can also get through because it has Fearsome. They could give slot bot a keyword. Their hand is not very good. Is they're passing again? What's going on here? A game. Go on then. What is going on here? Oh yeah. I don't even know. Alright, well, I guess let's look for a Get Excited. You must know me, one. Yeah, that was the card they just drew. I'll just discard the, the stress testing, of course, at end of turn. Yeah, I guess Nasus Thresh can brick. That's what Aro says. Yeah, I guess, I guess this deck can brick. It's always looked great whenever I've played against it, but yeah, my opponent really has bricked this time. Yeah, maybe Ruination. To get excited. A winner is you. This discard the fleeting stress testing and, and get a new fleeting card for the next turn is so good. That stress testing card's pretty nice. Alright, so there we go. That's gonna be a three and two. Okay, so a good winning record over in Master's Rank with a 3 and 2 for the Casino deck. Not bad, not bad. Um, you know, it doesn't have the best interaction in the world, and, uh, you know, some decks can be a little bit more powerful than it. But it's a fun deck to play. It's it's not an easy one to play, but it's, it's pretty fun. So if you, you like, you know, drawing a whole lot of cards and uh, going wide and, and, you know, just playing a lot of cards from your hand also... This can definitely be the deck for you. You're going to have like some decks like the Watcher deck that, 
you know, can be a tough matchup, but still definitely a, a fun deck. Thanks, Road Eddie. Um, I was, I, I definitely like the suit ups in here. The suit ups did look good. I think I'd want the third suit up. Um, I think my least favorite card in the deck is probably the astute academic. I don't think it, it necessarily, uh, helps too much with just the overall strategy of everything else. Um, but it, it's a nice, it's nice to have like another one of, or sorry, sorry, another one drop to be able to, you know, something else to play on turn one, but it's just not really that necessary. It's, it's just so easy to kill. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have any kind of keyword to help it get damage in. Even if you turn it into like a five, two or something, it's pretty easy to kill, but it's, it's a nice one of, but I would get another suit up in here because the suit ups on the flame chompers, like that's really nice. And we saw us have a lot of success with suit up flame chompers, but then also like suit up on twisted fate to help protect it or just suit up on something small to have it get a lot of damage through. Um, yeah, I, I just want the third suit up in here. But that's just one little small change that I would recommend making it going forward. All right, but there we go. So that's the Casino deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Those of y'all that have been playing this deck a while, uh, let me know how it's been going for you. Um, if you like the card choices in here, if you got any other any other cards that like we're missing that, we, that we're not playing that we're supposed to be, you know, feel free to leave those comments. All right, but that's it here for Casino. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.